Hey guys, welcome to my Adobe After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to create the heat haze effect that you would normally see on a hot summer's day. Okay, so I'm going to firstly open up a image of a desert road that I already have. I'm just going to drag it in onto my um, project like this. Okay, so once you got your in your project, create a new composition. We're going to have it the YouTube side, so 720 by 360. Click OK. I'm going to drag our image into our um, stage. I'm going to size it up a little bit because uh, the effect that we're doing may distort the image slightly. So just size it up and so it goes slightly over. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is name our composition. So we're going to name this uh, Road. And then we're going to make a new composition. And we're going to name this Heat Haze. Or Heat Wave either. Click OK. Make sure it's the same size. Okay, so in the heat wave composition, we're going to make a shape. The fill is going to be black, and it's going to go the whole size of the screen. Okay, so the next what we're going to do is going to create an effect on that, and it's going to be a noise grain, and if I need to find it, fractal noise. Okay, so on the fractal noise, you then need to change the fractal type. That's going to be strings, and the transform. We're going to size this down slightly. To around about, I'd say 20 ish. Make sure the so it's on spline as well. Alright, so once you've done that, we now need to mask this. So f to mask it, you need to right click on your shape, click go mask, new mask, then size it. So it will be to around there because that's where the road ends, I believe. Yeah, about there. So now we need to add animation to this heat haze. So to do that, you need to click on evolution. So click on the keyframe sign. And then move it up to around about 15 seconds on your timeline. Then make this around about, I'd say, around 20. And you'll notice when you move your timeline, it starts to go weird like that. Okay, so now what you need to do is go back onto your road composition. We're going to add a quick... Uh, color correction to this make it look more like a summer's day like so and now we're going to add a distort another effect to it called displacement map and what this does is the effect that we just made in heat wave it adds that underneath it okay but first of all you need to actually drag your heat wave composition underneath it so then put it on the stage and put it underneath it like so and I've just noticed it's slightly above it, so we need to go back into it and move the mask slightly down a little bit until you get it just in the right place. Okay, that looks just about right. So now we've done that, we can pull it underneath, go back onto here and change the displacement map and click on heat wave. And you'll now notice if you make the max horizontal distance to three, same goes for the vertical, you now have a heat wave. And that's pretty much it for the heat wave. Alright, so yeah, thank you for watching this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe for more tutorials on Adobe After Effects and many other matters. Alright, thanks for watching. See you later.